Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I'm smiling like crazy because I'm thinking about a couple of things. One, this is your GameStop update. Who cares, right? So we're actually breaking out of the, the technical wedge that we've had here. I've had these up here for months. Uh, we knew we were going to break out. Is that, why this, is that why the price is going up? Sure. Is that why everyone's excited? Sure. Uh, we're about to cross. MACD's about to cross over. It's super tight at the moment. Everything, all the indicators are telling you this stock's about to take off. And could today be the first day of the breakout? I've told you the whole month of November is going to look great from the 2nd all the way to the 24th. But hey, I don't have to be Nostradamus right here. I'm just going to tell you a couple things that you guys don't want to forget when you're investing into GameStop and why it's still a buy even now. Here's what you need to understand. This is going to take off. Okay, It's going to go all the way up to 350 whatever. It's going to be massive. Right now, look at the last breakout. We broke out of the wedge over here. I know I'm zoomed in. We broke out of the wedge over here, and it took all the way off, and then they brought it back down with the selling of the shares and the offer and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? It's been consolidating for a long time. You've never seen a stock look like this. This pattern that you see here has never been done before. But now, we're going to break out. But please remember, even if it's 250 300 whatever it may be, that's the new bottom, right? That's the new floor. The reason why we know in this wedge makes sense is because Higher lows, lower highs, they eventually just smack into each other and take off. But, and when we do it like this, and we get to this next level here, okay, this next plateau, this next thing we're going to be messing with, know this, okay? They still have to deliver the shares that they've been hiding. And yes, they're hiding them, guys. You can't lie to me. You can't tell me. I know. I read the report. I know the volume. I know what was happening. I know that we traded the whole damn flow every day for 16 days straight on average. All of that. We have 4 million shares traded today, guys. We went up 20 bucks. 4 million shares. That's 1 20th of what was traded back in January. Go look at all my videos. Last five months, 200 something videos online. We've been talking about them hiding short interest in options. Okay, all the, hey guys, if you guys don't want me, you guys want me to explain it now? Because there's people out there trying to talk about it right now like they know what the hell they're talking about. I'll just explain it to you. They reset the actual FTD by doing uh, a married put. Uh, they just hide it out there. It's the reg show rules reset, okay? If you guys don't know, go look it up, please. Just go look up reset the clock. Google that and then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Reset the clock uh, on any trade. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're using old rules. It's old tactics. They've been out there for years. Does it really matter? No, because guess what? When you buy back in and you have to show that you actually have the shares and everyone's going to come looking for them, you satisfied the broker for now. But guess what's going to happen in a couple of months when these damn things explode? January, February, March. Go look. I'm not making this up. Go look at the options, please. There's 286,000 puts on the books, but they're going to have to buy back all these shares, guys, on the open market, and you have the keys to the damn mansion. The new level is going to be lifted and lifted and lifted. And by that time, when we're sitting at 300, 400, 500, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's barely 220. You still have to come buy back in. And how many shares are going to trade back and forth then? And how much FOMO is going to come out and see you? It's a great damn Monday. To be finishing today at $200 a share went up in the after hours a little bit more. I'm super pumped for the stock, guys. But don't ever forget where we came from. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. And we're not going to any goddamn where. GameStop to the damn moon, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. It's too damn simple. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'll see you around, millionaires.